So I was born in the 80s as an African uh, exposed in at the township. The type of education we had was vastly different from the education that uh, my white counterparts would have had. So it was very difficult because we didn't have as much exposure as what the kids have today, which is, I think, fantastic to see that over the years, corporates have come into the township to try and, I think, transform the way the schooling system runs. Over our 50 years within BW Groups of Africa, we've invested in over 140 schools. We have narrowed this down more recently to two specific schools, Ding Japeu and Metabo. They refurbished all the classrooms. Each child has got a table and a chair. They refurbished our sports ground. We had a library there, and the lights of the school were also repaired. Hence, I say we are in a bright school. Before BMW provided us with security, burglary was happening every day. So that is the good job of BMW. Within Litabong Secondary School, we have just embarked on a refurbishment project. However, we have already begun educational upgrades with them. So we have the UNICEF project currently running, which focuses on STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, to ensure that these educational um, programs are able to provide these learners with jobs that are sustainable for the future. By last week already, our learners were able to code a car, a small car, so that it can respond to obstructions. The impact that BMW has made in this school is huge. When you've got a good corporate citizen like BMW coming into the community, I think it offers a huge amount of hope. The social dynamics, child-headed families, where kids don't have parents, they don't even have a granny, they look after themselves. As I, they come to school when they are able to, if they come, they are hungry because no one sees them at home. It's not just a school, but it's a home. They get education, they get support, they get love. And because they are loved, they succeed.